Today's video is an Ulta haul and it's my first one of 2023. If you like hauls and you love makeup, you're gonna love my channel, so be sure you subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on future videos. Okay, let's get into what I picked up at Ulta. I had my best friend in town. We were makeup shopping. I went in for self-tanner and all was lost. I basically got everything that I ever wanted in the store. So I had to replenish my makeup wipes. I love these Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths by Cetaphil. Love them so much. So, so these have aloe vera, vitamins B5, B3. They're ultra soft um, and they remove my eye makeup and my face makeup really, really well. So I had to get some more of those and I loved that they had a MAC section in my store. I was so excited. I don't know about you, but I miss my good old faithful MAC products. I've kind of replenished some of my favorite MAC products and these are a couple of them here. So I picked up another Fix Plus. This is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. You guys know I shared in my Sephora haul, this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. That is great if you are in humidity. You need your makeup to be bulletproof to last all day long. That's a great one. If you want your face to look young, hydrated, supple, plump, I don't know necessarily if it really prolongs my makeup, but this is a wonderful setting spray, especially if you have aging skin with fine lines, wrinkles, anything like that. You need the Fix Plus. So I replenished that. And then as I mentioned, I am on a Sam Sherman cook. I love following her. If you love makeup, you love beauty, hair, all sorts of things like that, you will love her channel. I will leave it down below. Follow her. She uses the e.l.f. putty primer, but I wasn't sure which one it was so I just got the trio of the little ones and I've since used the poreless putty primer which is this one and I really liked it I could really tell when she used this on her t-zone how flawless her foundation looked at the end of her makeup so I think it's just one of those steps you may not really notice it until you take a photo or video of yourself and then you're really gonna notice so if you have a special occasion this might be something that you could try and you could even split it up between your family members, maybe your daughter, your mother, or something like that, your sister, um, if you don't want all three. But I think it was like $9.99 for three different ones and $7.99 for the regular big one. I would never go through probably the regular, regular big size. So I wanted to try out the different ones as well. So I got that. I was recommending a few brushes in the Morphe line to my best friend Amy and I picked up a couple of brushes to add to my collection. I am trying to find a similar like feel of this brush from Sony Kashuk. This is many years old. I got it at Target obviously and they since I don't think make this but it is my favorite brush to apply my bronzer, my powder bronzer. I love, I think that it is a natural hair brush if I'm not mistaken so I needed that kind of like rough texture to pick up the product. It's a little bit wispy at the end. Um, so I found these two. This is the M403 Small Chisel Blush Brush. And when this kind of fans out, which I will wash it and work it in, um, another thing I want to mention before I get into this brush, make sure when you are using brushes, like my bronzer brush is almost a little bit too big for keeping my bronzer in a very strategic place. So make sure that your brushes are the right size for your face. You're maybe gonna need a little bit smaller brush than the person you see using a different brush on TikTok um, or Instagram. But make sure you're getting brushes, like you don't want a brush that is gonna apply bronzer way down here. So if you have a brush that's like this big, and it's, you're putting bronzer on with it, you're gonna have bronzer all over your face. So make sure you're getting brushes that there are the appropriate size for your face. If you need help with that, I'm more than happy to help you. So anyway, this is the M403. We will see how this does. And then this one is the M581 Pro Pointed Powder Brush. And when it's all fanned out, this is a little soft, but I think it's gonna have that same shape that the other one has, but a little bit smaller, which I don't mind. This one is a little bit softer than this one, so I may need this black texture of brush in this shape. So we will see if either of these work, um, and I will try my hardest to 
you know, gl maybe glue that thing back together, but it's just falling all apart and I'm just so sad because it's my favorite brush. If Sony Kashuk ever watches this video, which I highly doubt, please make that brush again because it's so good. Okay, if you have any favorite bronzer brushes that you think I might like, leave those down in the comments. So like I said, my best friend Amy was in town this past weekend. We had All-Star Weekend, which is where my husband, if you're not familiar, he is a professional hockey coach for the ECHL team, the Norfolk Admirals. And we were, we had the privilege of spending some time with the Stanley Cup this past weekend, which was very exciting. I'll put some pictures and videos in here. And it was just a very exciting opportunity for all of us to get together. She flew into town. We had the best weekend. She got to see some of Jeff's games. I don't know if she's ever been to a game. I can't remember if she went to a game in Knoxville when we were in the SPHL, but now he's moved up, up a league and went from assistant coach. Now he's the head coach here. So we're very excited for that. If you hadn't caught the update of why we moved and all that sort of thing. We had a blast. So this is the next thing that I picked up. Old Faithful. I'm going back to my MAC. I love it. It's just good quality makeup. Um, this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15. I got the wrong shade. This, I think, is my self-tan shade, maybe. This is NW18. A little bit too dark and a little bit too orangey. So, um, it looks like it would maybe match. I'm not sure. I will test it. I'll try it. I think I might need NW15. I think that's a shade. Um, but for bronzer, I used the Studio Fix Powder in that line in the shade NC45. So that's what I bronze with. And then the next thing, I needed a good moisturizer. I picked up the Rich Revitalizing Nourishing Cream. Uh, this is by the Aven brand, which I really like their product. So this is supposed to be really good. So it says... Tired, drawn features and dull complexion, uncomfortable and very dry, sensitive skin, lacking in nutrition. I feel like that's how my skin looks a lot in the winter. So this cream helps restore the natural beauty of very dry, sensitive skin. Uh, it's a skin cell booster, antioxidant vitamin E. It's a creamy texture, highly concentrated with an ultra nourishing complex and shea butter and it just softens and soothes the skin. It restores the skin's suppleness. Um, it reawakens and energizes the signs of fatigue. I like a one and done moisturizer to go over my serum and it says leave out of contact of your eyes. So I'm really try excited to try this. I do love their retinol eye cream. If you've seen my empties, you have seen that I have been through several of those. So it's a really nice jar and you get a little spatula. So. I'm excited to try that. I will keep you updated. If you see that product in an empties, that's how you know that I really liked it because I used it up and I didn't give it away. If you saw my Sephora haul, which I just filmed that, so I have um, these two eyeliners here. So when you go to pick up the eyeliner that I'm talking about, that's my favorite, it's the brush tip, not the felt tip. The felt tip does not glide with the eye. It's very stiff. Some people like that. I do not like that. I like the brush tip. So brush tip, not the felt tip. So when you're looking at the packages, you have the tattoo liner and you have the ink liner. They're gonna be right beside each other. It might be confusing like it was for me. The felt tip is called the ink liner. So that one I'm returning. That's not what I wanted. I got this one today at Sephora. This is the tattoo liner. So I'm sure most of you already knew that, but if you are kind of newer to this and you wanna get the right thing, the brush tip is called the tattoo liner. So like I said, my best friend was in town. She is the queen of the best tan the best blonde hair, the best of everything. So when she came in town and she was 50 shades darker than me, I was so pissed. I said, what are you wearing? Why do you look so good? I need what you're wearing. So she said she wears the Bondi Sands, the Australian tan. And I should have known because some of the other influencers I follow on TikTok, they use this and it's apparently just the bee's knees. So I use this and I love it. Now the caveat is they don't have the ultra dark in store. In some of the stores, they only have this small size, which is fine. I didn't care about the small size because um, I wanted to try it. They only have it at the register where the samples or the travel size products are. So that's where I had to find this, but this is the self-tanning foam and it's the dark shade. She had the ultra dark 
but since this was the only one they had, I didn't feel like getting a spray tan for All Star Weekend, so I just used this on my exposed areas, and it was beautiful. I used about two pumps for the bottoms of my legs, and it looked really, really nice, so I can't wait to go through this. I'll do a couple coats. Um, I let it dry. It doesn't stink, actually, and it didn't leave me with any weird smell, like, afterwards. Like, usually, self-tan, that kind of stuff will give me, like, this weird BO smell, this one did not do that. So I was very excited for that. Um, I do like that it's a foam. Don't forget, if you're like me, you need a mitt. You need a mitt or you need some gloves. I had to end up using one of my Amazon sponges, which worked really well. I wish I could find a bigger one that I could use because um, it's so soft. Highly recommend this. I will, when I use this up, I will get the Ultra Dark. That is everything that I got at Ulta. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to get ready to take this. I don't even have foundation on today. I just have the Versed Glow Drops, the Chanel Cream Bronzer, and then the lip that I did in my Sephora video. So I don't have brows on. Oh, I do have the Cali Ray mascara, but my lashes are so pitiful. They just go flat down like that. So I need to either get a lash lift or maybe get some, I don't know. I'm using the new lash serum. If you have a favorite eyelash serum, put it down below in the comments. Let me know. My lashes need all the help that they can get. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on TikTok for makeup reviews and Instagram for more styling videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at my next video.